over to the Australian Now and another talk about kids, schools, risk, next-gen security, says the headline. The Education Minister calls for curriculum overhaul and warns students won't defend our country. The next generation of Australians will be unwilling to defend their country in a military crisis because schools are feeding students a negative view of its history and undermining confidence in Liberal democracy, the Education Minister will warn in a major speech on Friday. Alan Tudge will push for more far-reaching cha changes to the draft national curriculum in a speech to the Centre for Independent Studies, including the treatment of history, which he warns could entrench ideological misgivings, such as referring to our most sacred day, Anzac Day, as con a contested idea. Uh, Lisa, I guess the education curriculum and the, the, the national curriculum has been a point of contention ever since Tudge sort of took over the education portfolio. What do you make of this? Where do you land on, on the fact that we're, we're kind of trying to make history to be a little bit gentler as opposed to what actually happened? I, I don't know. I've, I've watched you, especially on, on Paul Murray, talk about this a, a number of times. I think everybody on Sky has discussed this at great length. And certainly from a parent's yeah. perspective, I think what we need to educate our children about is history in general. We can't be looking at it through some sort of biased lens. So you need to also... Yeah. And I think the point he's going to make tomorrow is that we need to celebrate the fact that we are a liberal democracy because... If mm. the kids are coming out of school and not understanding that and not appreciating that, why would they go and join the army or the navy and want to defend this country? So there is a lot of confusion. There's a lot of murky water at the moment. And in August last year, he he sent them back and said, "No, redraft this curriculum because again, it, it's not doing the job that it should be doing. It's not teaching our kids what it should be teaching them." And what I like about what is in this our speech tomorrow, is he's also going to highlight the fact of let's get back to some basics. Let's start introducing mm. times tables in year three instead of year four. Yeah. Let's start looking at phonetics. Let's start teaching them you know, the, the maths, the English, the basics mm. that they need and give them a balanced view and a balanced understanding of what this country mm. is about. And I think there will be a lot of parents around Australia tomorrow applauding the fact that he's taking a stand and finally saying what we mm. are all thinking. Yeah, absolutely. And finally, we may be able to, if we get the uh, phonetics right and also our numeracy and literacy and numeracy levels higher, we'll be higher than Lithuania on the national on the international tables, which would be really good. <laughs> I'm so with you. And, and the fact that, I guess, why, why are we teaching primary school kids about things like climate change and, I guess, the, the brutal history of Australia when their little minds are probably just trying to get their heads around critical thought? Teach them the basics, like you say, times table, how yeah. to use a comma, for God's sake. That'd be great. <laughs> And Jenna, and I know, well, one, as someone who employs people, having people come through who actually know how to yeah. use some grammar would be fantastic. And second of all, I have <laughs> yeah. sat around my own dining room table with my children and know what they're being taught at school. And then the conversations that yeah. we are having about, well, did you know this and did you know this and how about this fact? Mm. And it's just not being taught. Mm. So that needs to be changed. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely.